Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my brand new bus we bought a couple weeks ago. This is YouTube Cribs White Trash Edition. Come on in and check out my crib. I like it. Ride, whatever you wanna call it. All right, so first thing when you enter into my house, you see we got a driver's seat. You know, back when this thing used to run, I used to cruise around town and I would drink me a cold beer and I would just, you know, go down memory lane and remember how I ended up in this situation to have such a beautiful gym like this. Man, just takes me back to my old days. So you come back here a little bit further. This is where, uh, you know, this is like a dining room, living room combination. You know, I can cook over here in my kitchen. So this is probably the cleanest part in my entire crib. This is where, well, I didn't pay the bill and the water shut off, but I usually wash my hands here. And then I sit down and I have me a nice little dinner right here. I can watch my YouTube videos right there. Uh, someone broke in and stole my TV. That's why I don't have one, but I usually have a TV sitting there somewhere and uh, it's gone. All right, so one thing that I really love about this whole crib that I bought, this is my vintage Frigidaire. I'm afraid to open it. <laughs> I, was, I was like, you I to never open. opened it. <laughs> Does it stink? Oh, no. Oh, I no. dare you to smell in there. I can't. Take a big old whiff. There's something in there. See if you can point the camera. I don't, I don't see what's in there. Um, there's a big shiny silver thing. I think there's a lot of ice. Some... Oh, okay. No, we good. All right, let's <laughs> open this thing up. It's empty. Bro, that is a big ass snake skin. I'm scared for everything. I'm, I'm just scared to be in here. I don't know. So, a lot of times when you eat some, you know, greasy fast food, it gives you a little bit of bubble gum. This is my luxury bathroom. This is where we do number one and number two at. Right there. Yes. It's like, <laughs> you just go in a hole. Final room in this whole bus. This is where the magic happens, Ooh. okay? Watch your head, you got a spider web coming oh, in. Oh my. Uh, before we go in, yeah, let me show you this. There is massive snake skins right here. Two of them. Can you see it? Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to go in here. Dude, I'm nervous. I'm getting another shot back here. All right, definitely have rats in here. Come on in here. Let me show you where the magic happens. You sounded scared for a second there. Oh my the boogie man. I dare you to lay on one of these beds <laughs> face down. I'm good, bro. <laughs> I thought about it. I was like, man, I'm gonna come here and jump on the bed. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? No. Maybe not. So this is uh this is big enough for me, my wife, and then if we have any kind of special guest over, they can so, you know, split up, sleep here, sleep there. And then we have another place. This is a six guest camper. Man. You can have another guest here, another guest there. And if you're small enough, you can fit two people on each bed. And one underneath. Yeah, and one underneath. Kinda. I like it. But all in all, this is what you get for 500 bucks. Now, I appreciate you guys touring my crib. Y'all have a nice day. Now that you guys seen a tour of my fancy crib, you guys are here because you're probably wanting to see this thing get started. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. So I bought this bus on Facebook Marketplace a couple months ago for 500 bucks. It is a 1948 vintage Mac bus. So she converted over to like a living quarters. She lived in it while her house was getting built and then she moved out. The bus has been sitting for 25, 20, 25 years. Not cranking, nothing, just abandoned. We came in, hooked chains to it, pulled it out, covered it. So as we recovered it, I keep wanting to call it a van. The bus was in gear. As we're pulling it, it was turning the motor over and blowing white smoke out. So I'm like, I wonder if we can get this bad boy started. So we're gonna try to attempt to get this thing running. Like I said, it's been sitting for 20, 25 years. Don't know anything about it. All I know is it's got a Mack motor. We're gonna try to get this baby fired up if we don't get eaten alive by mosquitoes. We gotta go get Graham though. Graham done took it all back to the shop. Man, how the hell do they think they're gonna turn this bus over with this little bitty ass <laughs> battery? Did you bring your toolbox? No, I did not. So you think it's actually gonna turn over? Uh, no. Oh well, yeah, it'll turn over, but I don't. 
Hey, it's not gonna start. You gonna need to get some starting fluid. Get the... All right, so uh, we're gonna take these little bitty batteries out, and we're gonna try to put these big batteries in and try to get this thing started. I think the biggest problem is someone left the uh, light switch on the off position here. So it might just be as easy as flipping the switch and it's good to go. No, like literally it's a light switch. Just off. See, so just turn it on. Holy crap. Do you think he knew that, that there was that there? No, it's a circuit breaker, but these batteries are probably shot. I mean, look at that terminal, it's so corroded. So, all right, we're gonna see how many times we can send Chase back up to the shop. <laughs> to get the most random shit. <laughs> yeah. Chase, I tried to call you. Did you get starter fluid? <laughs> Look at this toolbox. Who's is that, Chase? <laughs> oh my gosh. What? So there's trip number two. You think you can get him for a third one? <laughs> I'm gonna try to get him for up to five. Because <laughs> this, it's a really good thing actually that his set is actually so organized because you can work. A yeah, lot better. I mean we're missing the three eighths ratchet, the one I need. So now I gotta well, get it a, together. There's yes. another trip for him. Oh, there we go. I tried to call you. There's no, no th there, <laughs> there's no three eighths ratchet in here, dude. <laughs> there's literally no three eighths ratchet. It's in my truck. <laughs> <laughs> I took it out. I needed it. In your well, truck? Yeah. I need it. It's my truck, so I'm gonna get it. <laughs> we didn't really need a three eighths ratchet because I got this little breaker bar, but see what random stuff we can tell them to get. Boom. Probably trying to find a rack. <laughs> You've got to answer your phone. Are you kidding me? Literally. What? That's crazy. There's nothing there. 7 Eleven outgoing call. Look. Bro. We need a hammer and some vice grips because. You've got your shit. <laughs> I. What? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't ask questions. All right. Hammer, vice grips. I think that's it. Call me. <laughs> See, I just needed rags because it's hot. <laughs> I don't really need rags. So that's the fourth trip, right? Yeah. See so I, I was gonna say that's gonna be the tricky one. All right. So the batteries are in. So you gonna try it? I just turned it. Oh, I gotta turn the light. Man, I hope that's not like the wastewater pump and we oh, <laughs> dude. Huh. So it's not a main electrical. I don't I don't know what is it a fuel pump or something? It's like a radiator. I don't know. There's something moving right there. It's like a, it's like this, something on some isolators right here. There's a, a pump or something. I don't really know. All right, let's try to call him again. What if he answers? I'm going to hang up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to try to call me back. <laughs> I don't know what the light, oh, he's calling me back. So I don't know what the uh Hey you need to be like I don't know what the light switch does. Something's running under there. I mean it could be the wastewater pump, I don't really know, but something's running. I don't, I don't want to leave it on because I don't know what it is. So we have electricity then. Uh I don't know where I'm gonna There's a bunch of switches up here. Maybe pop the horn. No. See. I mean do we I 
Something's working. Bro! Nah, I just saw your ass running around. <laughs> I know you did something. No, I didn't do anything. Alright, I do need one more thing. No, you Uno mas! Really? What? We need a small piece of metal. In case it runs away, we have a way to cut it off. Oh, yeah. Covered, uh. Yeah. What size you need? Quarter inch? Just you hit your quota for the day. Your day, your job this is done. Five. All your right. So after done. he gets back, we'll tell him we've been messing with this whole time. We didn't need any of this. Stuff. <laughs> something, something's running. I didn't cut all those switches back off up there. I cut. Oh. Something's running. Yeah. Here. It There's a light like on it's the dash. Increasing. There's lights on on the dash. Oh, nope, we don't have lights Yeah, I thought, I've been thinking those ones turned on, but. There's lights on, there's a red light. And a yellow light. Oh, we got something. Yeah, let's, uh, fuel. I think that was a heater, I think that was a heater, let's see. Uh, heater. Blower. Okay, so okay. that's a blowers. Okay, we got ignition. Oh, that's backup lights. You think we got backup lights? Ooh, oh, no. You got brake lights? Oh, no. All right, so I got headlights, tail lights. See, I think these are air actuated wipers, so I don't think they're going to work until. Hmm. Um, all right, so I'm going to wait and try to start it until he gets back. I'll just see. See how much we can mess with them. Radio doesn't work. I, mean, I feel like we have some power, but not enough power. Do you know how to even turn it over? Like, is it a push button? Uh, yeah, push button start uh, oh. starter right here. Is it tempting to not push that? Like, you want to push the button? I or? do. It's like you know how when kids are like, "All right," or don't push the red button. Yeah. I feel like that's the red button. I yeah. really want to push it, but I don't want to push it. I would really want to push it right now. I do want to push. I was in your position. But I do want to push it. Wow. I'm just waiting for this thing to like burst into flames. That's what I've a, been waiting a wire for. Wire short somewhere. That's what I thought when we heard that first I mean, thing turning on. Oh, we got lights. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's go. We can go to dinner now. That's what I was thinking, dude. I'm gonna set a candlelight dinner in here. Yup. All right. Nope. Nope. Hey, <laughs> hey, <ain't> doing this. <laughs> we need one more thing. No, I do too. All right, so. Realistically, I didn't need half those shit. We just wanted to see how many times we could get you to go. <laughs> to <laughs> go get <laughs> He's like, I I'm only do needed five the, times. I only needed the rags to. But you did need a three eighths, though, right? No, nope. I found did it. You need this? No, no. We just wanted to see. <laughs> what the hell, man? So I, so like by the sec first time you came back, we already had the batteries on. I've been wanting to hit the start button over here, like it don't press the red oh, button. Oh, oh, it's got power. Yeah, I got power. See, look, we. I was gonna get a light dinner set up in here, man. No sh. I was gonna, man. We were. Boy, I paid my power bill. Look at this. Shit. Well, see, I was like, man, should we send it back to the store to get everything to have a candlelight dinner? Send them to get a tablecloth and some candles, well, and I just sit here in elegance. Well, see, the blowers work back there. Hear them. And then when you can you try to get it out of gear. I think I have it in neutral. I don't really know. I think it's reverse neutral drive, and then you got to park a brake. Huh. So here we go. Ready, Dude. set. Oh, oh, it's, oh wanting. it's wanting to. Come on, here. Ooh. Keep doing it. Yeah. Oh. 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 Starting fluid. Why is the fuel tank? What? He swapped the fuel tank. Damn. Hey, where's the intake at? It's about to start. You think start fluid would help? Oh yeah, that's hard. Uh, Grab a flathead. 
Philip, Philip's head. I just gave it. Up. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <clears throat> man, this thing's like a. It's different, ain't it's it? It's like a boat. It's like a ship motor, man. I don't know. Look, look at this. Out. Look at this big generator over here on the transmission side of Ooh. the engine by the radiator. I got this. With the fan, with two alternators powering a generator. I don't know. That's kind of interesting. Um, the air cleaner. It's probably gonna be right here. Oh. Whoa. It's a old, old bath air cleaner. What's that? <clears throat> the same thing that M37 had on. What's all this cool stuff up here? Oh, we can start it from back here. <clears throat> what? Uh, yeah, it's got, this is how some of these buses are. Should somebody be inside? No, nah, we'll be all right. If it takes off, it's going to run over the Grand Marquis. Dude, it is puking oil. Oh, whoa. <laughs> it is legitimately puking uh, oil. Yes, that's the air cleaner. I don't know where. I mean, that's the old bath air cleaner, though. But <clears throat> I don't know. Just <laughs> I, I was wondering what that knock was. <laughs> This is why I needed those rags. <laughs> well, at least, Bro, it is dude, look at it, it oil. dude. It blew open a hole in the dirt where the exhaust is. Like it is puking oil. Damn. Dude. Alright, oh, it's just puking out. Well that's that that is not good. It runs. 